Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Snell's 40th World with the Family Affair. Now, as you do know, or as you should know, it was Bravo Con weekend, all right? And you had the lovely Kenya Moore. You had Eva. Um, I didn't see Candy. So I'm thinking Candy is at her friend's Latoya's. Is it Latoya? Tanya? Toya, I think it's Toya Johnson's uh, wedding. But anyway, Bravo Con had Cynthia in, uh, in the midst, I should say. I don't think she was on stage, but she still was invited. And uh, or somebody took her as a plus one, and we had Eva, and we had the lovely Kenya Moore. Now Kenya Moore was just showing out uh, at the Bravo Con. She called herself being Beyonce, a Keyonce, I should say, and uh, <laughs> she did a death drop, which is a move that some of the gymnasts or uh, what do you call it? Anybody know about the dancing dolls? Uh, Y'all uh, heard of that particular reality show? That's what she called herself doing a death drop at the end of her, uh, I guess, tribute to Beyonce. <laughs> but she was Beyonce. And it was cute. But I'm like, okay, uh, Miss um, Kenya Winya, don't you go out there trying to do no death drops and you might be spraying in something because your bones are getting brittle as they get older. So that you know, you're not as um, pliable or what do you call it, <sighs> for lack of a better word, you ain't unbreakable, honey. So. Yeah, I know you need to be taking your vitamin D supplements and all that, but don't be doing no death drop finding. You you a little bit too old in the game to hurting your back, your side, or your hip. Okay, girl. Woo! But anyway, she she felt she was feeling herself uh, today, and it was a cute little um, insert they had did with her on. Um, Somebody had videotaped it and put it out on their social media, and it's just making the rounds for who wants who's the who's who want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they were having fun, and I got uh, some pictures from that. I plan to do that in another video. But I see, I see, I see. Said the sailor that was swimming in the uh, water. Okay, child, Cynthia's trying to get back in the fold, and from what I'm understanding is. She has a good storyline. But to me, it's, it's a storyline that don't play itself out, and we really don't need to see it. Okay? Because everybody who uh, blogged on Cynthia Bayless' upcoming nuptials and how she was being so extra and trying to have a, a little attitude against Mike about she wanted to have her dream with and this, that, and third, all that shit. Spent all that money for it to last barely two years. You see what I'm saying? Some people say it was... Uh, a marriage was convenience to um, her having a storyline and um, him getting some money from her for being her storyline. Similar to what um, Martell and Sheree is up to. We know that ain't a real relationship. But uh, I don't know if Cynthia is going to be asked back as a friend. To me it's a slap in the face. And it's showing me that you have nothing else going on with you if you want to come back to a reality show that degrades women you know kenya has been definitely trying to pull it up you know you could be all smart and stuff with your mouth but don't let your mouth uh say something that shit can't cash okay do not say something that you know you can't bag it up with you know i ain't gonna say violence but i'm saying if you get in somebody's personal space the hands will get to going but um I, I just I had really high hopes for Cynthia to go out there and uh, you know do her little thing in acting of, of sorts, but it seems like 
she's not getting the roles that she thinks she deserves. And you can't get it when you ain't fresh out, you know, the uh not not fresh out the womb, but you know, fresh out there in your younger years. Just like she was getting down with the um what we call it, her a modeling thing. She took that very serious and she did very well, uh, with it. And I really thought she would take that back up or get her Bailey agency up. Uh, to par and get some real talent up in there because you got a lot of black folk running around here a lot of white folk a lot of latinos that want to be on magazine covers that want to be in the fashion world and cynthia should have definitely been using this platform from the get-go to make that happen when it comes because you know that's her forte she's fashion she's facing fashion all day long you know what i'm saying especially giving face but um I just don't know where her head is or who's not guiding her or her PR people. What, what what are they doing? Why are they, you know, letting her invest in so many materialistic things instead of something where you can build confidence in, in, um, in little children and, and, and shape their minds to making and having generational wealth? Now, Cynthia knew everything about the modeling agency, but she did not take this platform serious enough to spearhead something where it was going to be a, a good revenue stream for her because she has the connections in the fashion world and she just had to put you know these little people on to that she could be making a cute coin as well but i just don't know with her and sheree it's like they share one brain okay and i i just hate that for cynthia i really really do because um, she's just going to be a bump in the wall. We're not going to see anything. Because to me, that's not Cynthia's personality. Whether it's she be snappy here or there. That's pretty much what it is here or there. Even though Nene swear she's a whole different other animal or beast to deal with. When she gets angry or she wants to get back at people. And I'm like, hey, that's that's normal for everybody. You, you walk a tight line or you keep a close eye on who's for you and who's against you. And of course, somebody stepping on your... Uh, your things that you have going on for you, they're trying to shade you. Then yeah, you got to get them, get them straight, and then don't let, don't deal with them no more. But see, uh, Kenya said something very uh, eye-opening that Cynthia, since she's going through this divorce thing, they can share their you know stories back and forth, and she's saying you know that'll be a good line, a good excuse me it'll be a good storyline for her to come back now if bravo and her choose to do so in whatever capacity but i'm like can you one more hand about no 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 divorce because we want you to get divorced i mean we need you to show your financial records and let it be done and you got your good lawyer saying he ain't getting none of it you know because you did bad you run around here telling everybody to get a prenup and then you do caution to the wind and did get one yourself now that's a big error in your part and we're gonna look over it because we know you're gonna make it do what it do and you have a good brand and you can still do other things and you know people like you can you that's all i can say people like you but you need to turn all those financial documents and move on with your life instead of just dragging on dragging on dragging on so i said that to say it is it seems like when the shit got hot and when cynthia knew it had went south, meaning her wedding. Now she want to float back with people that she had wrote off. And I said she did right, Kenya off. Kenya wasn't saying too much. But give him a little shade here and there. And then she eventually just stopped talking about Cynthia. But Cynthia was going on press tours. They were asking her this, that, and the third. And what happened with you and Kenya on that ultimate girls trip. And, you know, because she, she had Mike in her life. Or she thought Mike was a, a solid fixture for her. So she didn't have to have anybody but Mike. So see, Mike is not in the picture anymore. Okay, because they allegedly said he was cheating, honey. Which is not far-fetched because we saw, we saw that whole scene in that um kitchen area where he invited every woman he could find up in there. Not now man was present, okay? So, uh, yeah. But Kenya uh, actually got uh, interviewed by someone that was at BravoCon. And she had some interesting things to say. So I thought I would bring that to the forefront and let y'all listen a little bit of the audio. And then I will come back and give you my final uh, synopsis of what we just uh, heard together. And then y'all can get down in those comments and make y'all words known. Okay, because okay? it ain't just me up here talking and thinking. I need my family to be up there talking and thinking too. Because sometimes they enlighten me on some things that I didn't know. And that's what, you know, a real family needs to do for one another 
So here goes the interview from access.com. the cast members but for the fans and we yeah. love interacting with them and being able to just catch the vibe in person and it's just great you caught the vibe and the vibe is everyone loves yes. you yes <laughs> and we're so glad that everyone is coming back next season okay good i'm glad you're excited wait are you not excited <laughs> i'm sorry see i i am the shade assassin so that was a little and y'all know when she said that, she was pretty much talking about Marlo. Okay, Hampton is who she's talking to for the people in the back and didn't catch the clue. All right, here we go. Uh, that was a little bit of shame. <laughs> yeah, you got to tell me, who are you not excited for? Come on, Kenya. I mean, we don't have to name names. Kenya, come on. I mean, we don't have to name names. I think we know. Yeah. But I think we just, you know, we need to... Uh, definitely have some new blood too what about some old blood i know some fans want cynthia back oh you know cynthia i love cynthia so you know i love having her on the show i love having her as an ally yeah. and you know she's got a good story right now so we'll see last we saw you guys on ultimate girls trip you know there was a little little something going on between yeah. the two of you are you guys good now oh uh, we're perfect like i think probably stronger than we've ever been um and i think some of why we got into it may have had something to do with you know recent announcements but and it so what are you saying kenya that she <laughs> she was arguing with you that she had a man on a uh, ultimate girls trip and kenya did not and kenya couldn't tell you anything is that what you're trying to tell her kenya and now whatever you're trying to tell her about her soon to be divorced husband was right are you telling us kenya that you try to give her a little advice about her marriage going south and why she can't open up her eyes and see that and that it possibly was a correct assumption that he was cheating on you, boo-boo. So that's what she was alluding to, at least I thought so. But let's get back to the audio. In the event, we're back together stronger than ever. I just love Cynthia so much. So I have my sister back. How are you supporting her during this time? Because, like you just, said... Just, um, you know, just trying to get her head and, and keep it in a positive space. Yeah. You know, I've been there just not too long ago where I had to announce a divorce um, and it wasn't going well. And um, just every day, just motivating her. Okay, what are we eating today? We're exercising. Because those activate, like, positive hormones and get you feeling better so just just everything such a good friend and now we got two single ladies out on the town <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much like no 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 um kenya you need to stop playing around and you need to show your financial documents because that's the only thing that we feel um that is holding up your uh divorce from um uh, mark okay we don't need both you and um cynthia out there talking about how y'all man or men did y'all wrong and we, we're tired of that i'm tired of that storyline i want kenya to come back where she's doing stuff like at the top of next year she's supposed to be a part of some type of uh reality show where it, it tests your mental and physical strengths looking very much so for that because she loves to uh be she's a competitive person i love to see her compete and think th things through in a competitive way so yeah I, i'm tired of the divorces i'm tired of the marriages you know i want to see something else everything is just so mundane when we are fixed on stuff you know because we had the same issue with um peter thomas we, we already done been through it with cynthia uh showing that as a storyline we don't need that or well, hell i don't want to see it you know what i'm saying i'm like you chose peter okay it didn't work out though peter was fine as hell but you know fineness don't pay the bills okay no romance without finance i get it got it good but then everyone under the sun was trying to tell you about mike and his narcissistic narcissistic ways and his cheating ways Hell, he even wrote a book. He even had the women over in his apartment trying to tell you how he know each one of them. And had to have them all, well, I just say put all of them that had sex with him more than likely, allegedly. Because they were just, you know, like they had this man and they liked this man. They're going to keep seeing this man even when you're around, Cynthia. 
So I don't want that storyline, and I'm, I'm keen to move on to another storyline too, because I'm fed up with that. I'm, I'll be talking shit every time if I'm looking at it next year. Uh, I, I don't want to see it. I really, really don't want to talk about no divorce or marriages. I really don't. But let's go on back to the audio. Yeah, pretty much. I'm ready to date again. I'm, I'm ready. You? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's been three pl- three years since I've I've been separated. Yeah, you so should date. Look at you. Thank you. And the boots. Yes. Like we're in New York City. I think you need to fi- like hit the streets. I don't know. Uh, where's yeah, some cute guys? I'm going out. I'm going out. Yeah. It's been a lot of activity lately. So. Oh, anyone it- interesting sliding into those DMs? <laughs> well, you know, I'm not a DM girl, but yes, I have had some very interesting DMs, but I just don't like like DMs really. Okay. I like personal like referrals. Personal referrals. Yes. So we need someone to set you up. Yes, I like it like that because I don't like strangers. I just get weirded out by strangers. Okay. Yeah. Is there any Bravo celebrity here that's single that you're like, ooh, maybe oh. maybe that? Oh wow. I mean, I mean, the I captain know. is pretty hot. Australian <laughs> captain. Yes. Can I tell you a funny story? Please do. So he's so I go in the gym. I just had laser on my face. So you know how after laser they smear all this greasy stuff yeah. all over to protect your yeah. skin. So my hair is all a mess. I'm schlepping it in the gym. I go in there looking a complete fool. And I wasn't even paying attention to the one person that was there. So I'm just working out, working out. And then all of a sudden he's talking to me. Oh, hi. But da, 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 da. I'm just talking about the workout. And he says, by the way, and he introduces himself. And I'm looking like, no, not now. <laughs> Why now? <laughs> oh, my God. I was so embarrassed. I was like, my one shot. And Wait. I have to look like this. You need to walk up to him looking like this today. And also, I'm sure you look... Well, can you? Well, yeah, I'm going to say your mama should have told you, but okay, we knew. And maybe grandmama that raised you told you, but you probably forgot it. If a man love you when you looking hot, messy, what do you think he's going to do when he sees you sexy and how you're looking today? What do you think when you go out and dress for the streets, honey? Okay, for the life of it all. What you think he going to do then? He got to be, I guess, punching me in left and right to get out your way because you're his. You see what I'm saying? So that's what's a good thing for him to see you not in your norm, you know, not looking like you want to be bothered with anybody, no makeup, no nothing, just your pure uh, original self, meaning your face with no makeup, no enhancement. And, you know, I think that was, a, um, I thought that was would have been a good sign. Because they can love you when you feel you're at your worst. What you think they're going to do when they see you at your best, girl? Come with it. Now, we know you ain't slow, can you? We know you are not slow. Now, pick it up, baby. Pick it up. No, no, no. I am sure you still look so beautiful. Uh, no, yeah. I promise you. <laughs> like, I had, like, ointment smeared all over my face. And you know how it's burn yeah, looking? Yeah, it's burn. Yeah. I look like just burn face. Hair a mess. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think I, but he was very polite. Of course he was. Crazy. Polite and cute. But I know he had no idea who Kenya, I was. Kenya, <laughs> you need to just go up to him today and be like, just wanted to reintroduce myself. That's, I okay. think this is, this is, and then we manifest it. Okay, okay. I don't I'll, know if I'll, he's single so or not, want, honestly. I don't know either. I don't know either. But if he's not, I'll shoot my shot. Please do. Okay. Please do. Okay. Please do because you deserve this. <laughs> We deserve this. I deserve this for you. Yes, I agree. <laughs> oh my God, I just love you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, and that was the little highlight from BravoCon. I'm pretty sure the women are still there. They probably won't leave until Monday, but it just is what it is. But I know one person that ain't there. Uh, Portia Williams. Uh huh. Portia, 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 Portia Williams. Everybody at Bravo Con except for her. She didn't even get a little slight invite. You know, maybe to the last event or something to that effect. Yeah, but Andy Cohen is her boo. <laughs> boo who you need to say. Boo like in Halloween. Trick or treat. Boo got you. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's all I got for this particular video, guys. And y'all get down in those comments. And, you know, have a conversation. You know I'll be there sooner or later. Have a complete uh, adult conversation.
And don't be fighting with nobody in the comments. I'm just saying. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.